Hello everyone, this is the fourth video in the IoT Data Simulator tool series and today we're gonna generate some data using schema-based session. Let's open Data Simulator tool on Sessions tab and click Create New Session button. On the Select Definitions tab, let's click Create New Definition button. As you already know, data definition consists of the optional data set and also optional data schema. Since we're gonna generate data on the fly, let's skip data set selection step. And here we've just entered to the schema constructor screen. We're gonna create JSON type schema where the top level container is gonna be an object. Let's add some properties. Each property can have some predefined type. For the sake of simplicity, let's describe some flat data structure with three properties. Okay, the first one is gonna be string ID property. The second one, timestamp. Property with type timestamp. And the third one will be double with property temperature. Let's apply the schema, give some name to this data definition, for instance demo1dd, and as a result we created new data definition and attached it to the session. Okay, now let's use one second interval timer, skip devices, and now let's take a closer look at the data processing rules step. You must be noticed that now it is very different compared to the previous video. In case of data schema provided, you will be able to use some rules for each property. Available rules depend on schema property type. Okay, let's use literal string rule for our ID property, for instance device1, random double for the temperature from 20 to 30, and current time rule for the time property. Let's proceed and select dummy property and now give some name to session. Okay, let's run this newly created session. And as you can see, everything is working as expected. We created a flat schema for the sake of simplicity and just to show you a basic idea. Using Schema Constructor, you can create any JSON hierarchy you need. Now let's update the created schema and uh, try to make it more complex. Let's go to the session update flow and let's update our data definition schema. Now we'll add one more object property and call it parent and parent object will have one nested boolean property and we'll name it child. Let's apply the schema and update definition. And now on data processing rule step you can see that there is one more object property with a random boolean rule set by default. Let's apply it and update our session. You can see that now payload contains parent object with nested child property. Alright, I hope now you have an understanding of how to generate some data using data simulator tool on the fly. In the next video we will take a look how to replace some existing dataset. That's it for now. Bye.